Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. Got a question in here from Zach. Zach is writing in. The heading of this email is interesting. It's concert photography under uh, $1,000. So he says, hello Matt, I recently found your YouTube channel. Your content's very informative. My question is this. I was to, I want to shoot small local live shows and concerts as a hobby. I'm currently using a D5300, but I want to upgrade to a full frame body. My first choice was a D700 for the price point. I could get a body and a few lenses and stay within my budget. However, I'm worried I will not be satisfied with the autofocus in dim stage lights. So I looked up the 7050, which is just slightly out of my price range, but I could stretch my budget and get one and have no room for lenses. The 800 body is slightly cheaper but I'm always hearing about how slow autofocus in dim lighting. Currently, I only have a 24mm D series and a 60mm D series. The rest are DX lenses and not fast enough for these live shows. Can you advise me on the 700's ability to autofocus in dark club environments? So that's Zach writing in. Thanks very much for your question, Zach. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to say I think your plan with the 700 and the lenses is a good idea because it's within your budget. The 700, I've shot that. I shot that professionally for a while. It's a beautiful camera and still holds up well. Not on the video side, obviously. However, the um, D700 is still a very competent camera. It has large pixel sights. It's very good at high ISO. has a very strong autofocus system. The 700 um, had one of the top-end autofocus systems from Nikon not that long ago. So I would say, yes, it's probably going to focus better in dim lighting. I never had any trouble with it in um, when I was doing um, at the end of the evening with weddings, when we we're doing the reception and whatnot, when you could often get into dim lighting. Uh, never had any trouble with that. Never had any complaints with the 700's autofocus system. So I think that's a good idea, and I'd rather see you get the 700 with its good autofocus system and some good lenses. Then if you want to, when you have more money, you liquidate the 700, and you're probably not going to lose anything because what you're going to get, a, if you shop around, what you're going to get a 700 for, it's probably still going to be worth that. They're kind of a niche camera. People still want to buy them. So it's probably still going to be worth that when you go to sell it if you want to upgrade into a 750 when you have more money. 750 is a nice camera. It's 24 megapixels versus the the uh, 20 uh, the uh, 12, and it is um, a very good autofocus system as well. Uh, as good or better than the 700s. So, um, but I'd rather see you get the lenses and the 700 and then upgrade later when you can afford to. Uh, let me throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do? Do you agree with me to go with the 700 and some lenses so he's got some good glass and then he can upgrade later? Do you think he should hold off on the glass and get the 750? I don't think so, but if you do, let us know in the comments below and let us know your reasoning on that. Um, do you disagree about his comments about the 800 um, not being able to focus in dim light? I think the 800's autofocus system is not as strong as, say, the 700's was or the 750's, but I think it's very close and it's pretty decent. Um, but I would say the 700 is probably better and probably a better choice for price and his lenses. But what do you guys think? Let me know your opinion on all of this. Leave it in the comments below. What would you do and why? What do you suggest? Are you still shooting a 700? How do you like it in low light? Uh, let's help out Zach here. It's always great to get you folks' opinions and um, just rounds out the answers and the feedback for when somebody like Zach here is trying to make a decision. So especially if we get some of you people that are still shooting a 700 chiming in here with your opinion on low light. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Zach. And looking forward to hear what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.